Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make this brief. Um, tomorrow, PPI before market hours. Uh, so keep that in context here. Um, and this is sort of like if you're looking to swing, because like that's the only real way that you can take advantage of the move that's going to come from something like that. Uh, that's going to be kind of what the point of this video is, I guess. So I'll let you know like kind of how I develop my personal bias uh, going into something like that. Obviously, anything that, that I would be positioning for is like, you know, you got to be willing to lose it. Uh, and I'll explain <laughs> why you have to be willing to lose everything that you put into a position like this. Um, <laughs> because we are at a really critical moment in the chart. Yesterday in the video, what we told you was if you trade over this dotted line, uh, this 394.19 level, which is essentially just was the top of this, uh, this local trading range here, as well as the bottom of this trading range here, um, then the likelihood, the, the side of the trade that you wanted to be on, which was over this trend line, would be the long side, right? Uh, and that's panned out really well. Today, SPY is up 0.8%. So generally speaking, if you were playing the long side today, and you followed the rule of, hey, as long as it's b above this trend line, right, this big purple trend line, which we'll change the color of because now I have two purple trend lines, this teal trend line, then my bias is to the long side, and you weren't greedy. You had plenty of opportunity to make money today on the long side, right? Obviously, there was money to be made on the short side as well. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty choppy day still. We're chopping around here, as we were expecting, <laughs> but... Generally speaking, you had a you had a you know a good opportunity to the long side. That feeling is continuing into this report. Okay. Now, am I saying that this report can't absolutely tank? Of course not. If you open tomorrow as a result of this report below this trend line, you have a good possibility of absolutely dumping your face off. Okay. If you break this trend line, this uptrend. It is very bearish, okay? Like, that. no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean, this would then look like just a beautiful distribution, right? I'm just expecting this distribution to play out with a little bit more reversal before it continues. Does that make sense? Hopefully, that makes sense. So, generally speaking, I am still bearish, okay? I am still expecting a breakdown out of this uptrend. I'm just saying that the opportunity, short term at least, seems to be to the long side, in my opinion. That's just how I feel. Um, and so I'm kind of thinking that, you know, you're going to get this this move. I think that you're going to see 404. Like, that's my bias. And obviously, that's a high-risk sort of scenario. And I'm not saying that um, – I'm not saying that – I'm not saying 404 tomorrow necessarily. I'm just saying like 404 before CPI, before before FOMC. Uh, that's my general bias, um, and it's playing out pretty well. But again, if you if you break this uptrend, my mind has changed. I'm not I'm not sitting here playing calls below this uptrend. That's just not like to me. That's not a good idea. I don't I don't think that that's a good idea. Um, but as long as we are trading above this uptrend. I will have a bullish bias, but I am willing to lose anything that I swing going into this report, okay? I'm going to shut the video down before so that I can handle handle my business, but um that's that's just the <laughs> that's just the idea that I have. And if I lose everything in the position, I'm totally fine with it. That's the risk that you're taking when you swing something into a market event as we've talked about before. Um my feelings are generally the same. Uh nothing has really changed. <coughs> I still think that you're you're gonna you're ultimately right now what you're doing is you're building up to retrace on this move. That's how I feel. I will say that the action overall is very like I've I've been posting McDonald's arches on Twitter. I mean you just you you are very top heavy, right? I mean you are so like just hanging out in higher ranges, right? Which generally speaking is bearish. But if you look at this overall move, it does have some somewhat of an accumulative look, right? So um, I, structure wise, the only thing that I'm essentially banking on is an LPSY type of look, right? And so you have this kind of curvature, you've had a sign of strength of, above this range now, 
and you've had like a backup kind of kind of zone occurring here. I am expecting that next you have like a markup phase out of here, which ultimately leads to redistribution, right? Um, and so maybe we don't get up to that 707. Maybe we, you know, going into, yeah, I mean, whoa, uh, this downtrend. Wow. Hmm. No, I wouldn't base it off of this downtrend then. Uh, you know, maybe maybe this this uptrend is the play, and that's kind of what we were expecting is this kind of crawl upwards, right? Uh, not as fast. When are the reports again? I Let me see. I'll Google it in real time. I just want to make sure that I have the, the dates, uh, the dates and times properly aligned, and I'm not... Uh, December 13th at 8.30, well, 7.30 a.m. Central, 8.30 Eastern. So an hour before market open. Um, so that is December 13th, is that what I said? So tomorrow you should have a volatile move as a result of this PPI report. I'm expecting it to be to the upside, but I'm fine if it's not. Uh, but let's assume that it is to the upside, because if that's our assumption, then we should operate based off of that. Um, yeah, I mean, you could have this. I mean, yeah, you could have this big move here as a result of the uh, this the PPI. Wait, hold on. I'm getting my dates messed up. Sorry. It would have to be faster than that, right? Notice how I'm not trying to tell you what to trade because it's going to be too late for you to enter a trade. Uh, that is on purpose for sure. Um, but yeah, so this explosive move here, maybe it's a 400 or so. And then you probably chop around here. And then it looks like maybe the CPI report, you probably have a bullish outcome of that. And then that's when you get real high. So then I think the, PAL, uh, the FOMC is after. FOMC. Is this the, oh, this is, okay. It's like backwards like this. 13th through the 14th. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I think is going to happen. I think that here, and then this is your bearish outcome here. That's how, that's how I basically see it occurring oops i should just leave that there uh maybe shorter time span than that because i know that this is kind of flooding into the 15th and the 16th but also that could be like the outcome of this uh even the the initial reaction could be bullish uh to to cpi we're expecting a bullish reaction and then we're also expecting somewhat of a bullish reaction to the uh to the fomc and then that's when you have uh ultimately a dump i just think that the structure overall is bearish but obviously, again, my mind will be changed. My mind will be changed. Yeah, this looks this looks like what what is going to occur. This is that I, I mean, this is I am basing my call out everything off of this sort of structure. This is what I think is going to occur. Okay. Um. So maybe not necessarily, like I said before, Powell come out and just like absolutely wreck everything. Uh, maybe that's not what's going to happen. Rather, um, it's like this kind of, uh, yeah, you know, things are okay, you know, like that sort of, sort of thing. And then you get rejected by the downtrend again. Again, if you trade, if you go over this downtrend, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, si I'm not holding puts, hoping that you're gonna break down below and whatever. Like, I'm not doing that. So, uh, don't, don't hear what I'm not saying. If you, if you continue over the downtrend, I've said already, the structure looks better than it has in previous times where you've tested it. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough is a little better today, but not, not that much better. Um. But uh, but yeah, so don't hear what I'm not saying. If you break the macro downtrend to the upside, I'm not going to I'm not grabbing puts hoping that it breaks down below. I'm going to wait for it to confirm back down below, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm I'm sorry about that. I I I should edit the videos and scenarios like this, but I'm not gonna cuz I got other stuff to do, to be honest with you. But um 
But yeah, so that's pretty much how I'm feeling, guys. Like, I, I do think that this local structure, like, super local here from the 5th to now. <laughs> I think the likelihood is a bullish outcome from this, okay? So that means I think that PPI is likely bullish to 400. Maybe you have a pullback going into next week. CPI, moderate to bullish outcome. And then uh, FOMC, eh, okay, yeah, you know, the world's not ending. And then that's when you start to see the, the pullback occur, okay? <coughs> dude, it literally, like, sneaks up on me, dude. It's so frustrating, like, like I just breathe the wrong way or something, and suddenly, like, a cough comes out. It's not like that normal cough feeling where, like, uh, you kind of feel it coming on, you know? So then you can kind of, like do your thing whatever i'm like literally like lifting weights yesterday i'm like doing side lat raises and it's just like Bleh! like mid set like start coughing i'm like what am i like a child you know what i'm saying like i have no control over my ability to cough or not cough so i apologize for coughing in your ear um maybe some of you guys are are into that sort of thing though so maybe i shouldn't be apologizing maybe you should be thanking me i don't know let me know in the comments uh yeah, so this is this is the look. This is it. This up. This okay. This is the look. Why have I been just like, you know, it, it changes based on the time frame. So you like it's not touching anymore. Hey, tra can trading view fix this? It was never like this. It, it is never like this. This is like a new, a new revolution for trading view is that they they want the the trend lines to be extremely different on different time frames. So you always have to redraw them. It was never like this before. But yeah, whatever. That's how I'm saying it. Poppy, poppy. Bye. That's pretty much what I'm looking for. Okay? Quick video update. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you're... Just protect yourself, dude. Okay? Protect yourself against risk. Like, come on. Don't, don't... Oh, Dave said blah, blah, blah. So I'm going all in. Like, I'm just a guy, dude. Okay? I've been wrong a lot of times in my life, okay? I've been right a lot of times, but I've also been wrong, okay? So just be smart. Think about your family. Make sure you're not doing stupid stuff with your money, okay? Just, you know, Jeff Bezos said, he said, don't go buy. Look at how different this purple trend line is now. What is this? How am I, like, is, is this how I'm supposed to live my life forever? I just have to adjust every single trend line? Is this a first world problem? The bottom isn't in until I stop complaining about trend lines being different on different time frames on TradingView. All right. I, that, I'm just kidding. That's not necessarily. I'm going to complain about it even if SPY is $0. Uh, so I'm still going to be like, why is this downtrend? Why, why do I have to change it every time? I really like the Metro Boomin album. I know a lot of people are kind of like wish I've noticed like this wishy-washiness about it where it's kind of like this oh you know this is good but not this so much blah, blah blah I feel like 21 Savage who is like pretty much my favorite guy right now uh is relatively mid and it could be just because it's it's getting a little repetitive it's so close to the to the uh the Drake project project um but I, I and maybe it's because he's got way too much of an impression on the songs and I like him more as like a feature artist you know so that he can have his punchlines and uh, the fun 21 can come out a little bit more, but, um, young thug crazy. Yeah. I mean, absolutely crazy on, on this, uh, future love future on this, that first track. Well, the second track, because the John legend intro, that, that second track, I don't know what any of the songs are called. Cause I, I, I don't look at my phone while I'm listening to it, but that track is crazy. <laughs> And, um, yeah, so I'm going to stop talking now because I'm if I cough one more time into this microphone, I'm going to lose my mind. So uh, good luck. Be safe. Protect yourself. And we'll talk next time, okay? Bye, buddy. Bye.